All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight on the bench, a poor vendetta. Ooh, man, oh, I'm sorry, car. There's some of the road rash. I didn't really show that well on the uh, speed run video. But all in all, I mean, it's, it's held up pretty good. I give it that. So, a uh, couple things going on. First, I'm taking off all of this three D printed stuff. It just doesn't hold up. It's all broke. I'm tired of fighting with it. And Good, now I can uh, pick up and handle my car without worrying about breaking those freaking things. I'm also thinking about, I had these caps up here, but I always have a hard time getting the body on the RC then. And I guess I can go underneath. It just seems like it wants to go that way. I was almost thinking about maybe strapping it this way would that be someplace higher up on the body yeah because I see the windshields yeah I can see look they got these two pieces these two wear pieces are for right here so anything past so this is yeah all right I know we're uh cars coffee in life but the uh VA had me on so many anti-inflammatories based on the proxy and stuff like that for years it just ate up my stomach lining and I, don't, I get bad acid reflux. So at night I try to switch to tea now. Be a little calmer on my stomach. So yeah, look at that. I got this wire tied here. I think that's going to work better. I like that better. And it gets it away from the little antenna right here. Now this new receiver didn't have a whole lot of wire. So there wasn't enough to have it poke out. The only way I could have done that was just to drill a hole. Now I also had this. Uh, I would like this more secure. The problem is when you screw the receiver down. It kind of. Well, I guess if I got rid of the tape. It would lay flatter on the box. Guess I could do that. I'm kind of afraid in the accident, like roll this thing. It's already popped loose, but it actually now you know it stays pretty good because we got got this wire tied down. So this is here, and that stays pretty. That keeps it in place pretty good. I think maybe we can even put like another smaller wire tie right here. That would help. I still would like it screwed down though, but then. Uh, I definitely have to take that dual lock off to get it to lay flatter. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. I guess there's really no point in me having this stuff here if I can screw it down. Uh, decisions, decisions. All right, I got rid of the dual lock. I spared you all that to save time on the video. I guess the one good thing about me having the the uh, skirts on here is it came with some screws. Now, I know the screw actually fit, but I wasn't too happy about 
like the little bit it dug in there especially with this thing being heavy so i took one of the longer screws so now we got the esc in there unfortunately the two screws don't line up but that's the best you can do so now my problem is here that this 4s pack doesn't fit i need to get this to fit because i need to start practicing my speed runs uh you know you just trying to control these cars at speed is difficult you just at least for me i can't go out there immediately and just expect to hit 100 especially if you struggle to control the car at like at 70 or anything like that so what i need to do is just slow down take my time and build my way up to this i really don't like these straps Ah, uh, so it looks like I got to take both of these mounts out to get this pack to fit. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to go ahead and put the 4S in here and work on driving it, work on trying to get the car dialed in with that, and then uh, slowly work my way up to where, you know, once I'm comfortable with this, then we'll start running, put the 6S in here, and maybe we'll start and we'll start getting into some triple digits. But I gotta be honest, man, I don't know. Just I don't find speed running that exciting. I was actually looking to build a speed car. But I don't know anymore. <laughs> you can lose your car so fast with these speed runs, but I'm just I don't know. I, I'm like I'm more, I like the dirt, cruising around the dirt, doing that stuff. Uh, I... All right, let's just see if I can get this battery to fit at all. Get these things out of the way. I think this thing might just be a little too fat to fit in here sideways. Uh, it might. I get these things. Nah, still it won't it won't clear that little module there. So we're gonna have to yeah, just gonna have to lay it sideways. Like that. That is how. Actually, it looks pretty nice like that. Look at that. Granted, that's the advantage to the arm and stuff with the Velcro is that you have more options with battery packs. But the simplicity of the Traxxas uh, mount system. Oh, look at that. Yes. And then we just plug that in. Oh, look at that. I can possibly leave that over there. Like that. Or we can. I think it sits good like that. So there's not even really enough here to try to strap this thing down at all I don't think it's gonna work if we try to uh, maybe it will slightly there we go uh, let's see if the Body likes to go on with that stuff missing. Oh yeah, look at that. I finally don't have to fight this front piece. Although the holes are extremely tight on here. I got those round discs to go on here to try to protect the paint somewhat, but I don't know if that's gonna if that's gonna work at all. Well, either way, I'll mess with that off camera. I'm not going to bore everybody with that. I'm going to try to find some pinstriping, though, online to see if I can't maybe just replace that. 
Because that's all it is. That's just vinyl. So. Well, maybe we do that. I mean, the other stuff's not terrible. Oh, it did gouge up. This probably actually saved a lot of damage right there because it, it got tore up. But I think this probably saved the body from getting really tore up. Uh, yeah, underneath we did have one tire scrape there. So I guess the fuel tubing looks like it's working, although I haven't quite hit 100, so I'm not sure. Well, I think that was there, but yeah, we got a little scuff there on the tire, so not doing too bad. There it is, looking pretty good. So now I just need to spend some time out in front of the house running it and see how fast I can get just on floor S. You know, I'm not gonna bore you with a bunch of speed videos. Just something I need to teach myself how to control the car, learn the new radio, learn how the expo works and uh, other stuff and just try to get this thing dialed into where I'm comfortable going up and down the street, holding full throttle, get this thing to go and just learn how to control it. When I'm comfortable with that, then we'll throw the 6S in here and then hopefully we'll easily bust a hundred but i will try to find a new place to run as well let me uh wait for daylight you might be able to see it's dark outside let me wait for daylight take this thing out for some runs on the forest and see how it does wish me luck so we're about to take it out for speed run there we had the forest pack and I installed the new uh, Protec fan. This thing moves a lot more air than the factory fan. You know, after one of those runs, we got this motor up to like 200. I figure I'm going to try this and see the temps. I put this on the my infraction at first, and it really helped with the motor temps. It's a bit loud, but it, it moves a tremendous amount of air. So, oh, look at that. We got some satellites, so we are ready to go. We are ready to roll. Now I've done a few practice runs out of here, out here off camera, and uh, so far it's been getting better. I got everything dialed in a bit. I did turn up the, uh, dang, I forget what it's called, where it slows down the steering, which the Expo. I thought maybe that was my problem the last time because I had it set at 10. I increased it to 20. I saw a rouse. Sheffron video now granted he's running like almost 200. He said he's got his expo set at 70 So I might just try to crease this one to 30 and see how it goes and look I changed these body clips to something bigger And it's been a help These have a little bit of a bend to them So a little easier to get in and out And I forgot to turn the car on again now, yeah, when I had the side skirts on here, this was next to impossible, but it's not, that, it shouldn't be that bad. No, it's not bad at all now. So, I just, that button's kind of down a little bit. There we go. You can hear that new fan. All right, hopefully you guys can see this. We're gonna hit start. Might be hard to see, but look, there's a big dip here. I've caught that before. This whole road has, it's not the best road at all. You can see this is not exactly the best thing for speed running. See, we lost the GPS again. I have something coming that should resolve that issue. There we have it. 65, I hope you can see that. Before we took out the uh, trash cans. 
Uh, so I finally found the GPS. It managed to make its way all the way across the street. So I'm gonna try this for now. I have something coming from another YouTuber. And uh, hopefully that should solve this problem with this thing. Because even with the dual lock, it's uh wanting to take off. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get some shoe goo and some drywall tape and look at that, split the friggin' fender. That was a hard hit, man. She was going wide open. I was kind of in that transition to when it passed me and I turned and I don't know, maybe I yanked the wheel, but, or maybe when I hit full throttle, it just, I don't know. I just, I didn't even really see it heading that way. I don't remember. Just remember seeing damn trash cans flying. I'm like, holy crap. That was not good. Oh yeah, let's turn this on. We got start going. I don't know, man, that's still acting pretty fast. I don't think that was it. I think I just need to work on my driving. <sighs> Read 86. <laughs> 86. Almost 90. Oh, that was a good run. She's bouncing really hard on this road, though. But So we know on 4S, this thing's probably good for this might be as fast, maybe 90. I really need to find a better place to run this because this road is so bumpy. I'm not sure if you could hear it in the video, but. It gets down, it hits something, it's just scraping really bad. Yeah, uh, okay, so motor temp's down to 138, I believe that says, or 130. It is, it's, oh, 136, yeah, it's just, it's almost 100 degrees out here, and it's not even, oh, it's 1040, so yeah, it's 11, it's a hot part of the day. I really should have got out here earlier. I guess I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to mend this. Like I said, I've heard shoe goo and maybe some drywall stuff I might just put a little epoxy back there should hold it I guess oh man poor car I'm gonna do one more run just practice for right, start just practice for doing this because man it is hard to keep these things straight I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah, motor temps at 190. It's going down quick. It wasn't reading 200. It's just hot out here, man. I need to get out here earlier to do this. I know, I don't suspect it had very fast. Yeah, 73. So, there you have it. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a work in progress. I'm just going to come out here, work on my speed runs, try to learn how to steer this thing get more confident at it and uh you know just work out i'm not too proud to say that hey i just can't run this thing out of the box at over 100. i'm struggling with this thing it's you know 80 90 even 70 man it's just you know these smaller scale cars get harder to like the infraction or my felony which is a lot larger i can run that thing 80 way easier than this but that's the challenge, man. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna put in the time, and that's what I wanted to show you. Here, I didn't. <laughs> you know, it's taking out trash cans. You know, it's embarrassing, but it, it happens. 
So I will continue my training. I will get to the point where it's fast. I'm also going to try to find a place I can run this at some speed and maybe not be so confined. That way, if I do go off road a little bit, I'm not hitting trash cans. This is what I was talking about. Like here, this road, if I go off, look, I got telephone poles, trash cans, mailboxes. You know, I got cars that could turn out. The other road I went on, it was short, but there was nothing there. Even if it went off road, usually at quite a distance before it would impact something solid. So, we'll, we'll, we'll get at it. Um, you know, I'm kind of new to speed running, so it's something that's going to take some time to get used to dialing everything in. I did change the trim. It always just seemed like the car pulled a little to the right, but it's hard to tell because this road out here is so crowned. That if you're on the one side it tends to want to pull that way and this way it wants to go to it always just kind of wants to go with the crown so the best way is shoot down the center which really limits you <laughs> all right everyone thanks for watching thank you for the support hope you subscribe and watch us learn and grow till we get this car to bust 100 a few times over all right everyone thanks for watching see you on the next one Thank you.